The photometer contains a focusing system and an observation system. The focusing system comprises an illuminated target, the green pinhole corona and cross lines, and a collimating lens. A collimating lens is one which causes light to traverse parallel. A spherical lens causes all rays of light passing through it to reach a point focus. A spherical lens, when viewed through a collimating lens, will result in light passing through the lenses to appear as a circle of concentric dots. This occurs because all light passing through the lens appears in parallel, and so the light is not permitted to come to a single point focus. When viewing a sphere with a photometer, therefore, a circle of concentric dots will appear at the intersection of the cross lines. Looking down the eyepiece, you will now notice that the green corona is out of focus. You may also find that your pinhole corona is not centred on the reticule. In order to focus and centre the corona, you will need to rotate the diopter power wheel until the corona is in focus. Centre the pinhole corona by slowly moving the glasses on your lens table while looking down the eyepiece. Once your view of the green corona is in focus and centred, you need to take a reading from the diopter scale. The number shown in the diopter scale window corresponds to the strength of the lens being measured. Record the lens strength by firstly denoting to which eye the lens belongs. Then write the strength of the lens, that is, the number appearing on the diopter scale when the corona is in focus. As you are measuring a spherical lens, the letters DS can be used to denote diopter sphere. It is also correct to record the strength of the lens as is. Be sure to retain the plus or minus sign when writing the prescription, as without them, the lens strength has no meaning. Now repeat these steps for the left eye lens and record the lens strength. Your final lens prescription should look something like the prescription shown in this example. Note that the recording style is listed as though you are looking at the patient with their right eye on your left side and their left eye on your right side. That is, the view is laterally inverted. An alternative recording style may also be used. You have now completed measuring and recording the strength of a pair of spherical lenses. In summary, the main steps required for measuring spherical lenses are Rotate the diopter power wheel to focus the green pinhole corona. Center the pinhole corona. Record the lens strength by firstly denoting to which eye the lens belongs. Repeat the process for the other eye lens.